Hey, what's up everybody? Jeremy Donson here with TheDrumProfessor.com. Today we're going to be doing Rockin' in the Free World by Neil Young. We're going to start at the chorus, and uh, in the chorus at the end is a really cool like crash fill section, so that's going to be a lot of fun to break down and review, and uh, to learn how he does that. Um, so as always, if you guys have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them below here, uh, or go to my website, TheDrumProfessor.com, and you can ask away anything you need help with. Uh, also so you can take advantage of meeting me live one-on-one -on -one to go over anything that you would like to do and as well as uh, video for sale and more to come that will be for sale on the website as well so hope you guys really enjoy this here we go <laughs> All right, so to begin this, let's go ahead and cover the pre-chorus fill also. So the pre-chorus fill is simply three e and four e and or dig a dut dig a dut on the snare, and your bass is gonna hit at the beginning of each three snares. So bass one two, bass one two, like that. So you're gonna go dig a dut dig a dut. Sticking, I would do right left right right left right when you do that. And then you crash with the bass drum. Go slower. And then crash. Now once you do that and you get into the chorus, it repeats itself four times. And at the fourth time it changes and that's when you have the slightly different fill at the end and then the all the crashes and the really cool fill at the very end of the chorus. Um, okay, so check it out. So what we do once we fill... It's just the very simple, uh, very common beat where instead of going like bass and snare and bass and snare and you add a bass to every snare drum. So this is called a driving bass beat. The bass drum just keeps on rocking. It keeps on uh, doing the same thing. Boom, 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 boom the entire time. So when you hit the snare, continue to kick the bass. Don't stop the bass there. So it's bass and both and both bass and snare together, right? So bass and both and bass and both and And that's the main beat of the chorus. Now, to speed that up, just you know, practice it slow if you don't already know it. If you do, awesome. But if you need to work on that, then just start it slow, gradually speed up. Once you get to a point where you're comfortable with it and you catch yourself like not thinking about it anymore or thinking about something else while you're doing it, that's when you know your muscle memory is kicked in and you got it. All right, so once you get that down, That's your tempo. Now, what we need to do now is count measures. And uh, I mean, you can also just know where it goes in the song, but just, uh, just to show you guys how this is gonna be played, we're gonna count the measures. And in the fourth measure, we do a fill. So let me show you. So you do three full measures, and the fourth measure you do that fill. So to count them, you're gonna go one, two, three, four, and at the end of four you do crash, crash. So basically every four bases is a new measure. So one, two, three, like, like that, right? Now fourth measure, you're gonna do this. Four. So right after the second snare drum in the fourth measure, then you do crash, crash. Uh, the first crash being without the bass drum, because the bass never changes, right? It's a driving bass beat. 
Uh, and then the second crash is with the bass drum starting the second set. So there's four sets of four bar phrases. In other words, you do, you, you, in other words, you play four measures four times. So for example, um, let's do the first set. So starting at one, ready, go. One. <laughs> Second set, two, three, four, third set, three, four, one, fourth set, two, three, four, and then that one changes a bit. So before we go over that, let's just go over that crash part real quick. So let's say um, we're in the um, third, let's say we're in the fourth measure here. So four. After the second snare, crash, crash. Then snare, and then snare, crash, crash. Then snare, and then snare, crash, crash. Okay, so that's how we do the crashes in the fourth measure, the first three sets. Now the fourth set, of four measures, we're gonna do a little different. So instead of doing it after the snare, we do it after the bass drum, and we change it just a little bit. So let's say this is the fourth measure of the fourth set. So you're gonna go bass and snare and bass snare, for starters. So after the bass, the snare comes next. So bass and snare and bass snare. Bass and snare and bass snare. Now after snare, bass and snare and bass snare bass. There's the bass and, and ride or bass and crash together there. So bass and snare and bass snare bass, right? And then you do two snares after that. And I would probably recommend doing left hand first simply because the right hand hits the crash there and the left hand's not doing anything. So why not use the left first instead of having to rush back with that right hand because it literally just hit the crash and the snare comes right after that. So you have a lot more time with your left hand. If you want to do it right, certainly can but you have more time with the left to hit there so it's optional you can do either one I'd recommend left right on the snare part so breaking it down slowly it's bass and snare and bass snare and then bass snare snare so bass snare bass snare snare bass snare bass snare snare fourth measure bass and snare and bass snare bass snare like so. Okay, so now we got that. Now, we're going to go over this next part. This is really cool. Um, so once we finish that fill, we're going to do three. We're going to do bass and both and both being bass and snare, right? So the same beat. We're going to do that three times. So we're not counting measures anymore. We're just saying do bass and snare in three times. Okay, so one, two, three. Then you start the fill. So one, two, three. Bass, crash, crash. So after three, you're going to do bass, crash, crash. Two crashes with the snare. And you want to use a different crash symbol than, other than the one that you've been using on the main beat for the chorus. Now you could also use a ride symbol there if you want to instead of the crash. That's totally fine. Um, so ride or crash for the main beat is okay. Just make sure that you hit a different crash symbol for these accent crashes, not the one that you used for the whole song. So if you only have, say, a ride symbol and one crash, um, I would recommend doing the beat for the chorus on the ride, and then whenever you do the accent crashes here in the fill, then use that crash that you have, right? 
Okay, and if you if you have a different type of setup and you're curious how you would do it, just let me know, and I'll go over what how you could do that the best. Okay, so here we go. So one, two, three. So you do it twice. So you go bass crash crash bass crash crash, and you're gonna crash with the snare drum on each of those bass crash crash. Now, after you do those four crashes, all with the snare, bass, crash, crash, bass, crash, crash, then you do two more crashes with the bass drum this time. So it's... So doing it slowly. Bass, crash, crash, bass, crash, crash, crash. So you got four crashes in a row at the end. In a row at the end. Okay, so now putting that together slowly. There's our first section of this part. Now, here's the whole thing. Check it out. All right, so now to break down the next part, so we've done this. Next, you go back to whatever you were playing on normally for the, for the chorus, which was either your crash or your ride, right? I was using the crash. So once you do that, you're going to do and, which is the main symbol that you used for the chorus beat, snare, crash, crash. So... And snare crash crash okay so now putting that together there's that okay now next after that check it out let me just show you so starting at the one two three one. So we have flam on the snare, flam, bass, crash, bass, crash. Okay, putting it together. Now starting on that last crash. So it's crash with the snare, right? Crash, snare. And then bass, snare, snare. So crash, snare, bass, snare, snare. And as far as the end, um, assuming that you're right-handed and you're going to be going into the heavy hi-hat uh, beat next then you're going to want to do right left on the end of this, right? Because then you open up your right hand to crash. And then you go back into uh, the next beat with the hi-hat. Okay, so let's check it out. The whole part, starting at the one, two, three. One, two, three. And there you have it. All right, so I hope that was really fun for you guys. I really enjoy that, Phil. I like how he broke it up like that with the crashing. It was really, really cool how he did it. So again, I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. And if you have any questions whatsoever, please do not hesitate to ask. I'm more than happy to help. Thanks so much, guys. Be sure to have fun, stay awesome, and rock on. Later.